Well, he went down to the start, I thought, pretty well. A little bit keen, but he hasn't run for a long time. So uh, he's down there now, looking very cool. And um, we just have to hope he comes back in the same, uh, with, with the same enthusiasm. I'm um, obviously, like everybody, probably, a bit concerned about how soft it is. Um, but he looked like he went down all right. Um, it's just whether he comes back all right, isn't it? You know, but it, it's his first run for a long time. He's had, a, in fact, he went down on his knees um, a couple of months ago, and so he's had a lot of time off. Otherwise, we'd run him by now. Anyway, he's um, he's completely recovered from that. So we're about to load and see how we get on. You know, we're in there with an each way chance, I would say. Where do you want him to be? Uh, well, preferably not making it. <laughs> preferably not. Really. Just possible he might, I suppose. But I just want him to sit where he's happy, where he's comfortable, and um, you know, hopefully settling. That's the main thing. And then, you know, this will test their stamina a bit. Being by Sir Percy, he should. He's out of a high chaperon mare. Well, he should. You would have thought um, be fine over this or further. The high chaperon bit. Well, you know, he's a very good horse. High chaperon um, ran brilliantly um, in the Breeders' Cup turf. Won that having finished behind us in the arc. We were second in the arc with Mubtaka. So he's jumped out, jumped well. I'd be happy with that so far. Early days, he's going to drop him in a little bit. And he's travelling just okay, I'd say. Sitting third, in behind the favourite, I think. They're going a reasonable pace without going too hard. He's travelling just okay, I think. I mean, from a point of view of his action, I'm thinking. He may not be loving the ground, but it's the same for all of them. And he's travelling, I would say, reasonably well. So sitting third, um, now fourth. <laughs> and uh, he hasn't really asked him just yet, but we're a fair way out yet. Uh, we are, what, three out, are we? I think something like there. So the smuggler's coming now a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say he's making it look easy for Jim, but he's, he's, he's coming on a little bit. It looks like the favourite may win this. He's just galloping on one pace, not liking the ground. So he's going to beat one, maybe, maybe beat two. He didn't really pick up, but the first run from a long way, long time off, it's probably all right. So he's finished fourth, I think, bearing in mind that um, he hasn't run for a long time and should come on for the race. I think that was, that was okay. Did you think he handled the track? Was the track fine? Um, well, I, I, don't, I never think any of my horses don't handle the track. I always run them here because I think, um, you know, it's a perfectly fair track and they do a brilliant job of the ground and we love having any amount of winners at, um, at Goodwood what we can get. Um, so, he, you know, the odds on favourites won the race as expected. Um, and we've just run okay. I wouldn't um, be too upset about that. I think he's run a fair race. And obviously the winners won very easily. And what, would, not you, bad. what would your next steps be? Well, I think, I think um, next steps would be probably stepping him up a bit. I think Jim's going to say, stepping him up and trip, I think Jim's going to say he didn't like the ground, by the look of that, I would say. He's, he's probably hasn't got quite the action for very, very soft ground. But, you know, the winner in front here has got roundish actions. You can see we're a bit of a daisy clipper. So uh, I suspect that's what he'll say. It was just an okay run without being, getting too carried away. <laughs>